The 3D genome is an interesting concept. Um, when we talk about the genome, we think about DNA as the genetic material that uh, contain all the information uh, in, responsible for all the traits we have. Um, but DNA in our cells uh, uh, are not linearly arranged. Uh, they fold into complex three-dimensional uh, uh, structures. Our DNA is three billion base pairs. Uh, if you add them uh, all together, stretch them out, it could be two meters long. But they have to fold into a uh, tiny nuclear in each cell. And that folding is now recognized as a crucial for the cells to function. Um, in the last five years, so much has been learned about the folding of the DNA in our cells that we appreciate that um, the folding of the DNA is not random. Uh, it is regulated. Uh, it has structure, and that structure can play an important role in uh, gene regulation in other aspects of nuclear process. When that regulation is disrupted, um, transcriptional regu regulatory process could be, um, become defective and uh, result in uh, disease and other uh, genetic disorders. Uh, so one of the central goals of this meeting uh, named the 3D genome, gene regulation and human disease is to survey uh, the latest advances in the study of uh, genome organization um, in mammalian cells and in eukaryotes uh, and to understand uh, the relationship between the DNA uh, 3D genome organization and uh, uh, nuclear processes in particular in gene regulation and the human disease. Having this conference on 3D genome arch architecture along with um, epigenetic control mechanisms and the human disease uh, is, uh, is natural and will bring scientists working on um, two related topics together in the same venue and to talk to each other. This conference on 3D genome and uh, gene regulation, human disease, um, is really a venue for both scientists working in the field uh, to exchange ideas, uh, to learn from each other the latest advances, as well as for uh, scientists working on uh, different fields uh, to come and uh, to um, uh, engage in discussion, trying to uh, bridge the uh, uh, advances in this uh, genome organization studies uh, with uh, other related areas, such as cell biology, such as uh, uh, chromatin biology, uh, and, uh, and the medicine and disease, uh, for example, cancer or development. So I imagine a lot of scientists working in a broad set of fields could benefit from uh, coming to this meeting. In the last um, few years, there has been tremendous progress in both the um, technologies that we use to analyze uh, and study the genome organization and the uh, fundamental concept in um, appreciating the complexity uh, and the beauty of genome organization in, the, uh, in our cells. The field will move um, faster um, in a better understanding of the mechanisms um, that regulate the organization of the genome. Uh, it will also, in my hope, that um, technologies will move faster in better uh, characterizing 
the dynamics of uh, Crompton um, organization um, at uh, more and more precise temporal scale and uh, spatial resolution. Um, finally, I hope that the uh, conference will help um, researchers to uh, rapidly apply uh, the new technologies and concept in uh, research of human disease. Uh, we are seeing uh, some disease such uh, as cancer or developmental biology uh, are, are uh, benefiting from, uh, from this uh, field. Uh, but uh, a broader application of this uh, uh, 3D genome concept and technologies uh, hopefully will result in um, uh, uh, greater uh, transformation of the, uh, uh, of the disease research.